Okay. Oh. Um, red, yellow, blue. If you want to go lighter, I mean, you maybe even try it with um, a red and a blue. See how that feels for a little softer. Oh. Okay. On our back, headrest can be up or down. Uh, let's uh, do heels a little bit toward the arch. So not, not on the true pad of the heel, but a little bit toward the arch. Just distance between the knees and the ankles. Nice wide shoulders, neutral back. And let's press out. Once you're here, just make sure that you're in neutral. Press it back, draw a line into the carriage. And in and out. Squeezing all the way, straight legs. straight legs and tiny bend, reach longer, straighter, tiny, soft bend, four, three, make sure your booty's engaged, two, and one, and let's bring it in, sorry, I can check what noise is going on here. Okay, let's go to heels, narrow V. Nice long spine. There we go. All right. And press all the way out. Engage the booty muscles so it almost feels like your butt is barely hovering off the carriage. That bra line presses in. Neck is neutral, chin is neutral. Here comes Tina. Timmy. Timmy. Let's do four. All right, this last one, we're going to bring the carriage halfway in. And little out it in here. Just about eight inch range of motion, really slowing it down, focusing on connecting the heels to the sit bones. Four, three, two, let's take it all the way out and all the way in. Good. Wide stance. Externally rotated, heels on the foot bar, and take it out and in. Same thing, engage the booty so much that you feel like you are just hovering on top of the carriage. Four. Three. Alrighty, this time as we bring the carriage in, we're going to rotate in our hips to internal. And out and in there. Knees will obviously come together, but focus more on the hip rotation. Three. Two. And let's go into, into hip circles or knee circles, slowing it down so you get the maximal range of motion, internal and external. 
Reverse that externally rotated, bring it in. Four. Three. Two. And this last one, let's come in internally rotated, halfway, and just in and out there. For five, four, last two, and last one. Let's take it all the way out to close the motion and bring it in. Good, let's do little knees to the chest. And, Go to uh, balls of the feet on the foot bar, lift the heels high. And in and out, keeping the heels lifted, pressing through the big toes. Pressing the back bra line in. Four, three, two, and last one. Let's meet up all the way up. Slowly lower and raise the heels. Press through the big toe. Keep your booty engaged. Three, two. And with a little tempo this time, slowly lower, up, squeeze, hold, up, squeeze, hold, up, squeeze, hold, last one, up, squeeze, hold, and walk it out. And both heels high, bring it in. Good, narrow V, same thing, heels high, balls and feet. Squeeze the heels together, find that neutral, stick it out and in. out there slowly lowering raising the heels keeping them glued together pressing through the big toe three keep the booty engaged two and this time with a little tempo it's slowly down up squeeze down up squeeze down up squeeze last one down up squeeze and walk it out And both heels high. Let's bring it in. Good. Last stance. Balls and feet. Wide stance. Heels high. And let's take it out and in, pushing through the big toes. Four, three, two, let's meet up all the way out and double push prance. Just take that extra stretch. And 
both heels high and let's bring them right knees to the chest. Happy baby. And extended the just rotating the ankles and the other way. And let's bring it in. Good. All right. Uh, let's get our ball. Um, so I, I, well, actually, I suppose um, bridges wouldn't be very good for you. Is that correct? I had to get rid of Toby. Oh, <laughs> um, so uh, bridges wouldn't be very good with that much pressure on your foot, right? Oh, if we could do them on, can we do them on the heels? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So uh, if you have your ball, bring your ball. I would say then um, still on the red, yellow, blue spring. Let's take our headrest down. Okay, let's do parallel <coughs> balls or heels on the foot bar. Make sure your knees are directly over your hips. So I have to take my carriage out just a couple inches to do that. Walk your feet close enough so you're already squeezing the ball. It's an imprint scoop and come up into bridge. Just find that bridge lengthening through the waist. Ribs pull in. Make sure your feet stay parallel. And let's roll down very slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Coming all the way back to neutral. Exhale, imprint, scoop, and come back up. Good. Hold that bridge four times. Take the carriage out. Keeping your tailbone at that same height. Ribs pressing. Feet stay parallel. And last one. So as we come in, hold it there, hold nice long neck, squeeze the ball straight back. Tailbone tap and lift. Tailbone and lift. Tailbone tap and lift. Two more. Last one. Hold that bridge. Squeeze the ball as you roll down. Five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it in. Good. Let's take the ball away. Do a little side bag with the. Let's go to narrow V, heels on the foot bar. Okay, same thing. Make sure your knees and hips are stacked. Imprint, scoop, and come up into your narrow V bridge. <laughs> There's like a cacophony of sound in this house. Press your heels together, keep your hips lifted, and take it out. And control that carriage in. Team us up with it. And bring it in. And bring it in. Next one, teed up. And bring it in. Close the knees open, lift the pelvic bone. Close, lift. Close, lift. One more time. Close, lift. And now roll down five, four. Three, two, and one. And knees to the chest. Let's put both of our feet, ankles, knees together on the foot bar. 
And let your knees go one direction. Keep that opposing shoulder down. And bring it up. Go through the other side. And let's bring it up. Good. Just stay right where you are. Make sure your headrest is still down. Just do legs up to the sky, holding on to the shoulder blocks, the pegs, or arms down by your side. We're just going to lift our, our toes toward the sky. No holding breath. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Make sure your shoulders are not jammed in the shoulder blocks. Pulling onto your right leg, extend your left leg 45 degrees, and then to that scissor stretch, pull your right leg in. Exhale, upper body curls up. Drop your chin. And now flex both legs, point, and flex, and point, switch, flex, and point, flex, point, switch, flex, point, switch, flex, point, switch, flex, point, flex, and point. Good. Bend both knee or bend your right knee, extend your left leg in. Hands loosely holding on to that right leg. And let's switch in stag. Four. Three. Take a peek at your belly. Make sure it's pulling down. And last one each side. And bring it up. Enough. Red legs back up to 90 degrees. Holding on behind. We're going to lift up and over. Open your feet in hip distance. Rolling down. Extend out to your 45 degree angle. Exhale, lift up and over. Open, sit, uh, hip distance. Flexing through the feet, resisting that roll down as if somebody's holding on to your heels. Last one. Definitely not posting this video. <laughs> There's so much noise around me. Yeah, I can hear you just fine though. You can? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's do, um, let's go to a, what do we feel like doing? Let's go to a red spring. <laughs> Do a little uh, leg work. Okay. Okay. One red spring. <laughs> That's all right. It's fine. Lower the coffee, the vacuum, the dog. <laughs> you guys are fine. Okay. So standing. Just standing up regular, regularly, okay? We'll do a whole series here. We're just gonna push back with our heel. So your weight will transfer a little bit into the heel of the standing foot, but nothing else is moving except 
your foot driven by your glute. Pressing still through the big toe, and that standing leg is right up against the frame of the machine. Let's do four, three, two. All right, this time we're going into full lunge back and control it kind of, so you're standing up, okay? Full lunge back. If you want your arms to extend, you can do that as well. Coming full standing. Four. Three. Two. And this let's meet up in this lunge. You're gonna soften and reach, soften and reach. Five, four, three, two. Last one, hands come to the foot bar, and we're gonna press down into that hip flexor stretch and opening. Shoulders down, lifting up in the chest and a little rocking to the spine. So you're gonna come up as swan. Exhale, push back, lifting torso as in uh, plank. Exhale, open up, and push back. Last one like this. Lift, lift that knee off the carriage. And the same thing, open and lift through the sternum, shoulders down, push back, belly lifts, pelvic bone tucks. And back, one more. And let's hold that lunge. Good, we're gonna pull up in the jackknife, slow down. Pull up in the jackknife. Three more. On this last one, your left foot goes to the top of the carriage. Sit back down, bring the carriage forward, sit into your sprinter start, push through that right leg, roll through your left foot. Low. Three, two, and last one. And bring it in. Got both knees on the carriage. Knees are wide, toes come together behind you. Hands on the shoulder blocks, fingertips toward your booty. We're gonna lift through the pelvis, scooping, tucking, opening through the chest, and push forward. Let your head go back, but don't drop it. Push the pelvis forward, and sitting back down. Exhale, scoop. And back down. Do that one more time. Exhale, scoop, and bring it back down. Good. Let's go to the other side. Okay. Left foot's on that shoulder block. <clears throat> so we're just standing with a curtain blowing on the foot. Just standing and push back. On that high glute, you're just a little bit back in your heel on the standing leg. Do 
do three, two, and last one, guys. This time we press back into our full lunge. Oh, now we have sirens. <laughs> Apparently, I get up earlier in the morning on the weekend. <laughs> Control the carriage coming in. through the chest, bring the carriage in. You're trying to create a bow shape in the front of your body. And then a lifted plank torso. Exhale, open. Good, now lift that knee. And the same thing. that knee lifted as you pull into jackknife. down to the top right corner of the carriage, bring the carriage in, sit into your sprinter, start, and then push through that left leg. Exhale, out, shoulders down, neck is long, lift the ribs. Three more. as before, knees wide, toes together, okay, this time let's do hands facing away from our booty, we're going to push up halfway and just do a little uh, tip the pelvis toward the sky, come halfway down, squeeze and lift, halfway down, squeeze and lift, it's a tiny release and contract push. Four, tops of the feet, press into the carriage. Three, two, and one. And bring it down. Good. Alrighty. Um, let's, um, it's funny when somebody tells you they're a little injured, the only thing I can ever think of is what, to, what would affect the injury. <laughs> Okay, so let's take our foot bar down. Disregard, it's it's really okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, let's go to a blue spring, take your foot bar down. Let's do some plank pike work. Okay, so balls of the feet are gonna be on the platform. My uh, bar sticks up a little bit, so yours will be uh, totally flat. Let's put our hands toward the bottom edge of the carriage. Take it up to plank. Find whatever position gives you that greatest extension in plank with your hands on the carriage. Good, nice deep breath in. Shoulders down, long neck, tuck the pelvis. Pressing through the big toes, and we're going to ragdoll lift, our tailbone lifts to come into pike, 
and push back out. And push back out. Taking your time to really feel landing the plank position and also to really release the back of the neck, pull from the tailbone up to the sky and squeeze and extend through the legs and pike. Good, this one we're gonna come into plank. Just float your left leg straight back. Then as you come into pike, just wherever that left leg goes, keep it lifted, but you don't have to curl it up there. One more. Back into plank. Lower that left leg, extend through the right. walk our hands forward so forefinger and thumb are on either side of the shoulder block hold that plank and just push forward with the heels of the hand deepening that's that uh, pelvic tuck abdominal lift four three two And more. And bring it up. Good. Walk the hands forward. Tailbone on the sky. Do some side leg extension work. Oh my god. We have party boat time starting. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna be on my left side facing you. Um booties toward the back and the bottom of the carriage. on my elbow, not on a ball, but if you prefer to be on this ball for your head. Let's take that strap right in front. Stack the knees and ankles so we're even. Lift up in the waist and take that leg out. Once you're there, really push through the heel. Keep that torso extension and bending in press out. So we're just going to keep adding on to each movement. So this time as we bend out, reach through the foot, go back, forward to bend in. So find the range of motion where obviously you don't want to uh, strangle yourself with a cable. Back, forward, and in. Pressing down with that supporting leg. Good, this time press it back, circle while you're there, forward and in. Press back, just the size of a tennis ball, forward and in, two more. Circle, forward and in. Last one, back, circle, forward, let's bend in. Press back out. Good. Externally rotate that leg. Don't drop the hip though. And come diagonally to the sky and press down. And again, find a range of motion that you can support. All right, adding on here. Leg up, leg down. 
Once you're here, externally rotate, bend in. So it's like starter clam and up. Three more. Two. And last one. And rotate parallel. Stack that top hip. Last thing, pendulum. Sweep all the way back. Pendulum. Pull the shoulders down. Relax your neck. Push through that supporting leg. Three. Two. Let's spin it in. If you can keep your foot in the strap, do. We're going to come onto our back. Or take it out and put it back in. Square the shoulders. Let's do figure four. Lengthen to the right side of the body. Pull it, the hip out of the ribs. Alrighty, keeping that right foot in that left strap, unwind from figure four, come into tabletop, externally rotate for froggy, pushing out. Alrighty, heels come in, open to your extended V, close, froggy in, open, and close. Trying to get both legs to work in concert, ribs are down, shoulders down, Make sure you're breathing. Two more. And let's reverse. Open. Plie. Heels together. Push through that midline. Open. Plie. Two more. Last one. And push out to 45, externally rotated, just 90 to 45, three times. Last one. And bend it in. Turning over. Okay. Take that leg out, <clears throat> stack the hip, stay parallel, and tabletop in, push out. Adding on, take it out, take it back, and forth, tabletop in, and out. Two more. Let's add the circle. You go back, circle, keep it parallel as you come in. Out, back, circle. Two more. And circle, good. Bring it parallel. Externally rotate now in the hip, push that hip forward. Coming up. Oh, you know what? No. Oh, Alright, we'll do that. I missed one section. We'll do it later.
two more here. Keeping the waist lifted, neck is long, shoulders down. Press down into that supporting leg. Good, now bend in here, little uh, open clam. Push out and up. Open clam. Push out. Last one. Bend in, extend out, come back parallel, stack that hip, and we go pendulum, sweep it back. Three more. Two. And last one. All righty, bend it in. Punch your back carefully. Figure four, flex that foot, lengthen through the left side of the body, reach in between your thigh and on the outside to pull that other leg in. Good, unwind from there, come to tabletop. Your cross cable, externally rotate, little froggy, and push out. Open V, bend in, heels together. Externally rotate just 90 to 45 a couple times, a few times. And last one. And let's bring it in. Okay. Oh, shoot. 